In March of 2009, Tesla unveiled a prototype version of the Model S to the world. While the prototype is recognizable as a Tesla Model S, there are quite a few differences to what was actually delivered to customers in 2012. In this video, I want to take a step back to 2009 and look at the Model S prototype and compare it to what was actually delivered for the production Tesla Model S in 2012. And then I want to briefly talk about the evolution of the Model S to what we currently have today. I'm Jonathan and welcome to CleanerWatt. First of all, I'd like to start with the exterior differences of the Model S prototype. When you take a look at this prototype, you can definitely tell that it's a Model S, but there are a number of things that look quite a bit different, and the vehicle shape is actually slightly different as well. One of the subtle differences that I noticed was the fact that the side logo, which is now a repeater camera, was actually just a simple Tesla T logo there on the side. Here's a close-up picture of that so you can see better the Tesla logo there where the side repeater camera is now. The first Tesla models that were delivered did not yet have side repeater cameras, but they did have a different shape badge there that replaced this simple T logo. Another difference from the prototype to the production version is the placement of the indicator lights. In the actual production version, you can see that this was integrated lower down on the front of the vehicle. Also, when you look at this prototype, the actual profile and shape of the front is quite a bit different than the production version. As you can see here in this side-by-side -side picture, the lower lip of the front end of the actual production model protrudes out pretty close to even to where the nose cone came out, whereas with the Alpha prototypes, you can see that it kind of curls in a lot more. In a similar way, the back shape of the Model S prototype was a little bit different as well. As you can see in this side-by-side, -side, the prototype slopes a little more and is a little more curved, whereas the actual production model had a little bit different shape to the back. A quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you click that like button. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing so you know when I put out new content. Another big difference that I noticed was in the front grille of the prototype. As you can see in this prototype version of the Model S from 2009, this front grille on the Model S actually was a real grille and had openings for air whereas the production version of the 2012 Model S did not have these same inlets. Also, the Model S prototype did not have any of the trim along the bottom of the vehicle. In this side-by-side -side picture, you can see the difference with the trim, with the production version, and without the trim in the prototype. Tesla also made a slight change to the wheels that were on the production prototype. These were nine-spoke wheels, but the ones they actually delivered on the vehicle were 10-spoke wheels. Also, when you look at the front of the Model S prototype, you can see that the daytime running lights actually had a blue color to them. When it came to the actual production model of the Tesla Model S, these lights were no longer blue and they had a little bit different shape. Those are the basic exterior changes that I noticed. Now let's move to the interior changes and the interior of the Model S prototype really doesn't look hardly anything like the Model S that was shipped in 2012. When I take a look at this prototype interior, I'm really glad that Tesla did not ship this particular look with the Model S. Here's a picture of the 2012 Model S interior, and I believe this interior actually looks pretty good. When it comes to the differences, you can see the basic profile of the top of the dash is completely different from prototype to production model. Of course, the steering wheel on the Model S prototype looks completely different to what Tesla offered in the 2012 model. The air vent shape and placement is completely different from the prototype to the Tesla production model. And when it comes to the user interface that was displayed in the 2009 prototype, you can see how old and archaic this looks as compared to the actual user interface that came with the 2012 model. You can also see how much different the user interface was for the driver display directly in front of the driver. So overall, when you take a look at the Model S prototype versus the 2012 Model S, I'm definitely glad they made the changes that they did, especially for the interior of the vehicle. Another aspect that I want to examine are the specs that Tesla promised with the prototype versus what the true reality was for the production 2012 version. Did Elon Musk overpromise and underdeliver? In 2009, Tesla estimated that deliveries of the Model S would happen in 2011. Now the first Model S deliveries didn't actually happen until 2012, but that's really not much of a delay considering that this was Tesla's 
first time manufacturing a from the ground up EV, and it was also their first mass production EV as well. On Tesla's website in 2009, when they were promoting the Model S, they mentioned that it would have a range up to 300 miles. After the federal tax credit, it would have a price under $50,000, and that it would be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. Now, it appears like when Tesla mentioned that the Model S would go up to 300 miles on a single charge, based on other things I've seen on the website, I believe they were talking about driving at 55 miles per hour. Here's a chart from Tesla's website in 2012 showing such a stat, the estimated range at 55 miles an hour, and that number sits at 300 miles for the 85 kilowatt hour pack version of the Model S. So while when it comes to the official EPA rated range of the 2012 Model S, they didn't hit 300 miles of range, they did apparently deliver on their promise if you take into account 55 mile an hour driving. Also, a few years later, when Tesla launched the 100 kilowatt hour pack, that vehicle surpassed an EPA rated range over 300 miles, and Tesla has not looked back. In 2012, Tesla was also able to hit the base price that they promised, and they offered vehicles that were faster than the 0 to 60 mile per hour time that they promised. Overall, I would say that Tesla did a pretty good job on delivering what they had promised. Now, of course, 2012 is not when the Model S stopped changing. Tesla has been slowly updating and slowly changing the Model S over the years. Most of these changes were pretty slow and gradual and often had to do with range and performance. However, there was a pretty significant change when Tesla replaced the nose cone on the Model S with a more sleek front. But Tesla recently unveiled the refreshed 2021 Model S and they made a huge number of changes to the vehicle. They, of course, once again changed the front of the vehicle with a slightly new shape and a new placement of the indicator lights. They've also redesigned the rear diffuser of the vehicle. As you can see here, the old compared to the new. And one of the biggest changes was made to the Model S interior, where they completely revamped this and made it look a lot more like the Model 3 interior, but they gave it a yoke steering wheel and kept the driver display in front of the driver. The new refreshed Model S also takes performance to a whole new level as well. The original 2012 Performance Tesla with the 85 kilowatt hour battery pack and a single motor was able to go 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds and had a top speed of 130 miles per hour and could sprint the quarter mile in 12.6 seconds. Over the years, Tesla improved that, but the Plaid and Plaid Plus models dropped those numbers to below two seconds when it comes to the zero to 60 mile per hour time, and right around that nine second time for the quarter mile. So I don't know about you, but I really enjoy looking at past Tesla models and seeing where they have come today and looking at the subtle differences in the way that Tesla has improved them over the years. I think it's really fun also to look at a prototype that Tesla built in 2009 and see where that vehicle has come now in 2021. Do let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you wish Tesla had kept some of the shape and design from the Model S prototype? Or are you happy with the actual production version they brought out in 2012? Also, let me know what you think of the newly refreshed Tesla Model S. Is that a vehicle that you hope to buy in the future? Or is that a vehicle that you'd love to own? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.